For expertvillage.com, this is Matt Friedman, owner of the Blue Creek Candle Company. In this clip, we'll be talking about the history of candles. To find out more about my candles, please visit my website. All right, well, as you can imagine, just like we need light today after the sun goes down, our earliest ancestors needed to find a way to light their caves or light the paths that they walked on at night. What they were able to come up with was a candle that was made out of tallow. The tallow is a wax derivative from uh, the fat of the pigs and the goats and the sheep that they had available to them at that time. Now, tallow is extremely smoky, it doesn't have a very pleasant smell, and it was extremely greasy, but it provided them with what they needed in order to create a candle. And that's essentially all that was used until around the 13th century. Uh, in the Middle Ages, we had the introduction of beeswax. Uh, the beeswax is a very sweet smelling wax. It burned longer than tallow. The only downside to it at the time was that it was very expensive. And with that in mind, uh, beeswax was really reserved for the very affluent families of the time and religious and ceremonial purposes. Um, and that's pretty much what we used up until around the 18th century uh, with the discovery of what's called spermaceti. Now this is a crystal wax which was formed from the oils of the sperm whales and what they did was they would take the spermaceti, they would add it into the tallow and this would create a harder candle which meant that it would burn longer and it also greatly reduced the amount of smoke uh, that was produced by these candles. Now around 1825 uh, we had the invention of the braided wick. This was wonderful because it helped increase the burn time of the candles that were available at the time. About 25 years later, in 1850, uh, we had the discovery of the paraffin wax. Uh, paraffin is a byproduct uh, that occurs when petroleum is distilled. Uh, the great thing about paraffin is that it was much clearer, it's much brighter, uh, it's cleaner, and it burned a lot longer than tallow. And as you'll come to find out, paraffin waxes are still widely used today. Uh, basically, uh, what we had up until about 1857 was the wide usage of candles. What happened in 1857 was the advent of the kerosene lantern. Uh, and about 20 years later in 1879 we had the introduction of the electric light bulb. So when you combine those two together the need to light homes with candles after dark greatly diminished. And that pretty much leads us to where we are today where candles are still used very widely in homes. Seven out of ten homes always have a candle. Uh, so they're always used primarily for home decorations and also for the benefits that many people find of using either a regular candle or an aromatherapy candle just to simply help us relax.